Okay, we're going to get started with uh, the Explorers in Kansas. Um, first and foremost, we're going to go to uh, um, the questions that we're going to need to answer um, by the end of all of this. Um, here they are. Um, we'll end up dealing with these questions in class uh, for our activity. So these are the ones that keep in mind the entire time we're looking at this. This is what you're going to ultimately want to answer. Uh, the first one is describe Coronado's expedition into Kansas. Uh, using some of the main points you need to uh, remember from his travels that make this an important journey. And then the other one where they're going to discuss, uh, we're going to discuss two main French explorers. Uh, we're going to list out their goals and accomplishments and uh, discuss how uh, their ways of contact with the native tribes uh, differed from the Spanish. So for this activity, this is what your sheet needs to look like. You need to create this chart. Uh, uh, it could just be on the same sheet. Like, like I said, we, last time we're going to end up turning in this sheet. So this is what you're going to turn in. Uh, three columns. Uh, one, first column for Coronado. Next one for Tyne. Next one for uh, uh, Bourgemont. And then as you guys go through, you'll need to follow these directions as I have them uh, labeled right here under the Coronado um, column. So here we go. Directions for all three of these columns. First, you're going to create this chart for your notes. As you listen to this video, I want you to list any key notes in any of these columns that matter for those people. And then write down those notes, not just from the slides, not just from what you see, but also from uh, what I'm talking about. And you're going to do this uh, for all three columns. And uh, you want to have enough information to answer the questions at the beginning of this video that I just discussed. And I'm going to post those questions again at the end. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Key ideas. Um, yeah, first of all, is the New World. Uh, as explorers came from uh, uh, from Europe, they came over and uh, gave uh, the New World uh, label to basically all of the Americas. Um, but during the uh, during North America, this is what's concerning us in Kansas. So another idea that you need to keep in mind is that Native Americans themselves, the ones that the tribes that we just discussed, uh, all of the Native Americans. Uh, lived at home on the, with the land. This means that they didn't possess any of the land that they that they uh, that they lived on. Uh, they didn't claim it as theirs. They instead they lived at one with the land. Uh, they did fight with other tribes uh, for control of food rights and such, but and in traveling herds and things like that. But again, it wasn't the same as what the European definition of uh, possessing land was. So this takes us. Uh, into why did Europeans invade Kansas. Uh, so here we go. Uh, why the Europeans uh, were motivated to come into the New World in Kansas. First one is to spread their religious beliefs. Um, the second one would be to conquer new lands. Third would be establish trade routes, as you're going to see with the second two explorers. And uh, the last one would be this thirst for new knowledge. Um, you're definitely going to see that the Spanish played a role in this first idea, and uh, as well as the second one. Uh, and then later on, the French came in with the establishment of the trade routes. Okay? All right, so let's get to that first uh, explorer of Coronado. Please note, note his date. This is very early on in exploration, and the Spanish were at the forefront of doing this. Uh, of exploration of North America. 1541, Francisco Coronado uh, came from uh, Spain. He searched basically for treasure, which is what brought him into Kansas. Uh, he searched for that city of, uh, uh, the mythical city of Quivira, as brought to him by uh, an Indian slave um, uh, that talked about these riches and uh, in incredible wealth and all that stuff. It was this Indian slave named Turk. Um, and so therefore he was brought uh, a, an entire band of European explorers with him. He became the first European to come into Kansas. He uh, visited the Wichita Indians, and during this visit, uh, into, into not just to see the Wichita, but also all of the plains, um, he was one of the first Europeans to, he was the first European to see the American buffalo. Um, that picture is noted, by, by the way, on page 47 in your text, uh, and it just looks like a really shaggy cow. Uh, but they mar marked those down, and they were the first ones uh, to note the buffalo, or bison. Uh, expedition ultimately be was a failure. They never found the city of Corvair, probably because it didn't exist. And um, at the end, he ended up being found guilty of mistreating Indians, which is pretty common among the Spanish, uh, the role at this time. 
Uh, he therefore lost his job with the Spanish government. Okay. So next comes the French uh, exploration into Kansas. And uh, there's an entire new, different basis for what they did. And it was much later as well. So the first one, idea why they came in here, what was their motivation. So can you, can you can, I'm sorry, continue trade with the Indians? Uh, they wanted to make more profit. They wanted to persuade the Indians to trade with the French and not Spanish and gather information. So let's talk about the first one. Um, Charles, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Claude Char uh, Charles Dutin was in 1719. Uh, he was the first of the two French explorers uh, of note and became, uh, who came into Kansas. Uh, he was sent to contact the Comanche tribe. Uh, ultimately, this was a failure, but instead talked with two of the tribes that we've already discussed in class, and that was the Osage and the Pawnee. Um, and what was huge on this is that to get information about the land, he ended up trading guns and ammunition. And the question, therefore, would be asked, why would this be useful to the Osage and Pawnee? Why would they want to trade information to the Europeans for guns and ammunition? The next uh, French uh, explorer came several years later um, with uh, Bourgmont in 1724. Uh, um, he was sent to establish a relationship with, again, another tribe we've talked about, the Kanza, and also the Plains Apache, which are noted on a map in, in your text. He uh, was also sent to set up a fort on the Missouri River. And another key idea here is that he convinced the Plains Apache, uh, who were a warring tribe and started having wars all over the plains, to enter into a peace agreement with other tribes. I want you to think about this one. Why would this be useful to the French to have the Plains Apache enter into agreements with other tribes to end, war end their warfare with those tribes? Okay. Next um, would be the impact of these explorers, just the French and the Spanish. Um, on the negative side, natives' rights were ignored, uh, as, is, as noted right here. Uh, French ended up living with the tribes and ended up marrying Indi Indian women. Obviously, that upset the balance of, uh, of some of the tribes. It increased tension between the tribes and ultimately brought diseases that killed many natives because they were not immune to European diseases. On the somewhat positive side in terms of the impact. There was an economic impact for, uh, for the Native Americans. Uh, trade increased. Uh, this ended up bringing, bringing new products, which improved their lives, and some of those products included horses and guns. Now, you would say that guns might not necessarily improve their lives, but when you look at the warfare that ended up ensuing, um, fighting with bow and arrow uh, and, and, and uh, other, you know, other handmade tools, versus the uh, uh, mechanized version of a gun, uh, the gun definitely ended up helping them. Um, so coming up in class, uh, we're going to discuss basically the four American explorers next. Uh, we'll do this probably on Thursday. Uh, then we'll discuss the four American explorers who came through Kansas. Those will be Meriwether Lewis, William Clark, Zebulon Pike, and Stephen H. Long. So again, here are your questions I want you guys to keep in mind. Uh, describe Coronado's expedition into Kansas and what were some of the main points you need to remember from these, his travels to make this an important journey. And again, the second question is, there were two main French explorers. I want you to list their goals and accomplishments and how did their ways of contact with the native tribes differ from the Spanish. As always, I want to always show that these would be the sites uh, that were used to create this. Uh, and let's uh, bring these things ready to go in class and uh, let's have a really good activity when we get there.